Hey everyone, this is Dylan, and today I have a bit of a different type of video, but I was doing some cleaning around my room, and I found this box, and I knew that it was there, but I completely kind of forgot about it, and I thought I would show it off because I thought it was kind of, the stuff inside is kind of interesting. So several, several years ago, like, I don't even know how old these are mostly, but I had started buying things on eBay, and I don't even remember specifically why I bought these, or what I was even looking to find when I found these, but I bought an entire set of movie buttons, and a lot of these are from somebody who works at Walmart who had all these movie buttons, so I figured I would kind of just show some of them off. I mean, most of these are family-friendly movies, so there's no horror or anything like that, but I do think that they're kind of fun. So this first one is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This is for the video release, the home release of Harry Potter. So we got one of Harry. I feel like there's a couple more in here of Harry Potter. Then we have the um, home video release of Superman Returns. We have uh, the Spy Kids 2 one, and it specifically has a thing here at the bottom that says only at Walmart, which I did not know that Walmart had a uh, exclusive release of Spy Kids. Um, we have this one, which is the Ice Age one, and this is actually, this one's a cardboard one, so... Um, there's a couple cardboard ones in here. We also have another Superman Returns one. This is with Lex Luthor. Um, unfortunately, this is the uh, Kevin Spacey one, but still kind of cool. We have an Air Bud Strikes Back button, a Scooby-Doo the Live Action button. This one's pretty cool. I definitely enjoyed this one. Here's one for Mickey Mouse's House of Villains. Here's one for The Sopranos, which actually, this is probably the most adult one that I have. Um, as you can see, there is a gun in the uh, middle of this as the R, which probably would not happen nowadays. Here is a little Looney Tunes one. This one's pretty cool. Here is a button for The Country Bears, which is a very spooky movie if you've seen it. Those bears are scary. This is a rectangle button of the Country Bears. Here is a Lilo and Stitch button. So a lot of these are from like the early 2000s, so um, that's pretty cool. Here is a Barbershop one. We have a Long Came a Spider. I guess this is also pretty adult. One for the Santa Claus. Here's another Harry Potter one. This time it is Ron. We have a Finding Nemo button. This one says coming to theater, so I guess this must have been a promotional one. We also have a Monsters, Inc. button, so this one's pretty cool. Here is a Kangaroo Jack button. I definitely need to rewatch this movie. I haven't seen Kangaroo Jack in so long. We've got two Mr. and Mrs. Smiths. Um, we've got the actual one, and then we also have the uh, Mrs. side. Here is one for a Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen um, TV show, So Little Time. Here's one for um, the release of The Down Unders. Stuart Little 2, Back to the Future. Here we have one for the Lilo and, the Lilo and Stitch movie, Stitch the movie. Uh, so that one's pretty cool. Here's one for the 60th anniversary edition of Dumbo. Here's one for the Seinfeld, I believe it's 5th and 6th seasons on DVD. This one's in probably the worst condition, but this is a Shrek one. Here's one for the Jungle Book 2. Here's one for Piglet's Big Movie. And it even has, like, the very old Walmart logo from the early 2000s, which is pretty insane when you think about how different it is. Here's one for Blue Crush on DVD. Here's one from Monsters, Inc., and it says, How May I Help You? And that one's pretty fun. This one's also pretty big. Like, it's the size of my palm, which is uh, pretty awesome. Here's another pretty adult one. This one is for The Godfather. Here is one for Spy Kids 2. I think this is another one for The Air Bud Strikes Back. Here is 101 Dalmatians 2. 
Patches Adventure. We have the Gladiator. Here is a cardboard Spongebob one. We have another Lilo and Stitch one. Here's a Beauty and the Beast Special Edition one. Here's also a Mr. Deeds one. Here's one for the X-Men. And then the very last one that I have is for Harry Potter, and this is Hermione Granger. So I have all three of the Harry Potter ones. So I don't really know if anybody really cares about this kind of stuff, but I thought it would be fun to show them off. Let me know in the comments down below if you have buttons like this, and how should I display them? Because right now they're just in this uh, vinegar syndrome box. But other than that, I'm not really sure how to display them. So give me your uh, opinions down below and maybe I'll try to figure something out. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to be, please hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a like if you liked it. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Bye.